the, just the, re- the real answer is it depends. The the the. I think the answer that should be is uh, we don't. <laughs> now we try to keep this PG. So I believe we are live. So don't, oh. Oh. Are we live? Howdy. We are live. Hello. Hello. Hi everybody. Help me! I'm trapped inside your phone and or TV. <laughs> the, just, the, re- the real I'm answer. Trying to see if I can set up the, 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 to where I, I can see. The answer that should be is uh, uh, don't. Chat. <laughs> now we try to Without keep this messing up. So... My scribe. I might not be able to. Oh no! Oh, actually, I can just do it on my phone. Look at me, big brain. I, I thought your do it phone, on my phone was the camera. Wait. Oh, you're right, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, I'll use the backpack. Is it in your phone, the camera? That's pretty hilarious that you did that. Yeah, I'll be able to type in all the cards and have them pop up on screen. Should be kind of neat. I mean, this is super ghetto, but I mean, it's going to work. We are live. All righty, cool. <laughs> uh, well, hello, uh, everybody uh, watching at home. Uh, this is the very first ever attempt at a Geek and Seek Commander Live event. Hell yeah. Is it going to work? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> is this the... It, I, I seriously wish we were able to get the second cam set up because I want to show you how ridiculous this looks. Uh, and this show always looks kind of ridiculous behind the scenes, but especially today. It is quite ridiculous. It's pretty fantastic, actually. So, uh, I was going to pull up the chat. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, while you guys are shuffling up, uh, oh, are we showing off any cards first, or showing off? I don't know. If we need to show them off, oh. but at least we can. Oh, okay. We can just take a second to at least like, just uh, you know take a second. Uh, say say uh, who you are, what you're playing, what your deck do. Um, I am Dog Meat, and today I'll be playing Jason. Uh, oh, sorry, I got that backwards. My bad. <laughs> My bad, folks. All right, somebody else say something. Well, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna correct it. Uh, I did. I get. I said your, I got it backwards. Well, okay, but anyway. What does your deck do, Mr. Jason? Oh, well, he's just a good boy. That's that's well, it. Well, he is a good boy. He's a good boy and ever loyal. He he he, he 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 fetches. He wants to. Uh, he wants to have auras and, and equipments on him, and uh, you know, I make junk tokens whenever equipped creatures attack. So, you know, he's just gonna be going around finding a lot of junk. And we're going to make use of that junk. Good thing my daughter's right, bedtime is also fix. in less than an hour because uh, normally when we film games, I can mostly edit out her being crazy. <laughs> I, I will not be able to do that live. Yeah. <laughs> when are we going to have your, your baby on the channel? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've I've I thought it might be funny to have like a, a thing where we like try teaching her how to play magic, but she just like ruins the cards or something. I thought that might just be a funny skit. But I also kind of feel a little weird about just putting my kid out there for everyone yeah, to see. Yeah. So I, I, I'm I not sure. We will yeah, see. Yeah, don't. There's a, there's some weirdness with. Yeah, it's not a good idea. I'm anyway. sure none of our Maybe fans if we... would be weird about. No, I'm sure that wouldn't happen. But you know, you can never be too careful about the random strange. Maybe well, if we ban AI. AI. Once you we you can't once we ban AI. AI. So. If if we ever ban AI, then I'll be more willing to do it. Well, yeah. Okay, hi. I'm Steven. Yeah, I'm stop you actually, with the if camera. you look, if you uh, if you turn around like that, you, the, they can see you. There's this little stupid face. Is my <laughs> wife? Is my wife watching? If you're watching, Probably. I love you. Oh my god. And to uh, all and to all the other viewers right now, yes, I know Steven is married. It's shocking. Yes. I know. We're, We're not sure how that happened. But he did it. I'm still not fully convinced myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think Steven's just really good at moving around puppets. Like physically. Yeah. Like, you, you know, guys will need to talk like loud and clear for the mic, okay. which is up there. Anyways, after I really insulting wish, me, I really wish I wife, was able to get uh, the second uh, the second camera set up because oh, it it really yeah. does look so much more ridiculous yeah. than it normally looks right now. My name is Stephen. I'm playing the Wise Mothman. Uh, the deck revolves around. Wait, actually, around... hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Jason, you should read Dog Meat again. I can bring it up on screen for the for the viewers. Oh, up. okay. So I'm if playing... I could spell, but yes. All right, there you go. <laughs> dog. Okay, meat. now I'm playing <laughs> Dog Meat, Ever Loyal. Um, when he ETBs, I mill five cards, and then I return an aura or equipment from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, 
And then whenever an equipped a creature uh, that's enchanted or equipped attacks, I make a junk token. So, yeah. Got to turn dog meat into the biggest good boy ever. The bestest boy. We're going to get wrecked by a good boy. The largest good boy that there that's a good ever way, was. It's a good way to go. And he's going to be finding a lot of junk along the way. Check your trunks, fellas. All that junk's about to be removed. All right, and stay. If you're playing the Mothman, I am playing the Mothman. It is a three-three insect mutant with flying. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rad counter. Whenever one or more nine land cards are milled, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures, where X is the number of nine land cards milled this way. So uh, it's it's a lot. It's a uh, it's a mutant deck. I think uh, I mean I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it re- it revolves around a lot of the, the taking advantage of the rad counters, uh, and using it to buff my creatures up a lot. So I'll say I've played against the Mothman a few times. It's... We're all going to be getting a lot of rad counters. Mm-hmm. We're going to be getting a lot of them. It mm. is a strong precon. Mm. Yes. Can it is. you uh, make sure that my phone's open? It looks like it might not be. Oh. Uh, it looks it? like your hands froze. My hands froze. <laughs> Can anyone hear us? Uh, I'm sure well, no, they can hear they can us. The mic is a separate but, source. Uh, but. Here. You have less I got it on that all. side. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Jason, Jason just... Oh, wow. It's not <laughs> Good super Lord. stable wow. up here. Yeah, no. Anything? Hang on. Uh, it's locked. Great. All right, slide it, o- slide it open. Uh... Is it going to show your password on the live stream? It's showing all of my notifications. Oh, God. <laughs> Here, all right, just get, get down. I, this, I'm not really sure why that happened. Oh, I think I know. Why? Because it's not actually recording. Mm-hmm. And so it's just kind of idling there. So you, you're going to have to... Actually record? No, you're going to have to change your settings on your phone to just never auto To lock. never lock, uh, yeah. I, I think I have it set that way. If it's set to never auto lock, then it shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I think that would be. Uh, We're just gonna actually record. I'm just gonna have to delete. Everyone can see this. Hopefully, I don't have anything to hide. Delete some old files. All is right. this all being? On? Is this all? The yeah, 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 this is all on the stream. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I don't. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, you know, it, at least this is uh, something that happened before the game started. How many people are watching right now? Probably no one. There is one person, Matthew Capaldi. Hey, Matthew. What's up? Matthew, <laughs> hello. Hey, hey, bud. I am so glad that there are no stakes on this and we just did it and we didn't announce that we were doing it. It makes me feel a lot better about we having to take so much time to figure out what we're doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. We can blame Steven for this. Always. What, what, did I have to what, do? what else would we do? Uh, I don't know. Own up to your own mistake. How can, I, how can I own up to mistakes you made, Steven? You're owning up. You're m- taking. You're letting me take the fall for something that Morgan knows. We're letting you take the fall know. for something that is 100 percent your fault that you did. Okay, it's your fault. Okay. Tell I get me one of your friends says hello in chat. Oh, I get, sweet. What's up? I get uh-huh. bullied. I think I got it channel. again. On the channel, you get bullied off the channel too. <laughs> no, I don't. And we're only um, responsible for like half of it. The rest of it's just life. They were totally civil before we started recording. I swear. <laughs> yes, yeah, sh- sh- we're uh, we're all very good friends. Most we're, of the time, no, we're not. I don't know who Dad is. It's been a great deal. It's only, my, it's only my flesh and blood. Over there. I've known you guys. Hey, I'm gonna try to straighten this out, Jason. Can you keep an eye on it? <clears throat> um, better. Well, I feel like you still are getting too much of Steven and Preston. Well, I, I intentionally. Oh, I can scoot it up then, because I need to have the. Okay, I see. Uh, Other than that, it looks fine. Okay. It just you know I'm I'll seeing a lot. I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm seeing Steven crotch and how's that Preston's Looking stomach. Like... I don't really want to see either one of those things personally. No offense, gentlemen. Is that better? Well, I guess that's acceptable. It's a I, let me better. let me try pulling the table. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can move the table. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A little. Good. That was a, more than a that's little. Pretty but. perfect. All right, it's pretty it's good. Pretty perfect. You'll, you'll catch a little bit of my legs and and, and whatnot, but it's... no. Oh, wow. 
fuck. That was a good catch. You just saved the viewers from a very awful sound. Yeah. The mic just about fell over. Man. It's not angled correctly. And Jason cut it. All right. I'm athletic. Like Welcome that. to the world's most sus setup ever. Uh, I'm sure there's more sus setup. If there was but an this award. Is pretty sus. If there was an award for great streams, we would we would be we would be nominated. We'd get a Razzie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no freaking joke. All right. I finally got the live stream pulled up so that I can keep an eye on the chat. Beautiful. Woohoo. All right. So we did uh <laughs> we did Jason and Stevens um the my dog barker you could probably hear that. Uh they did their deck intros. Uh Preston, why don't you talk to us about what you are playing today? All right, I'm playing Dr. Madison Lee. She's Jeskai, 2-3, human scientist. Uh, whenever I cast an artifact spell, I get an energy, and then I get to tap her and pay either 1, 3, or 5 energy, and I get one of these effects. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 0, and gains trample and haste until end of turn. Draw a card, or return target artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So, you know, this deck just wants to play a bunch of artifacts, make a bunch of energy, and just take advantage of Madison Lee's really good abilities. Word I up. I love how we see energies again. Yeah, I, I love energy. I have an energy deck, and it's so sus. So I love that we actually get some more actual support for it. Yay. Uh, and then, Tommy Boy, what are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Caesar, Legion's Emperor. I know in the games they pronounce it Kaiser, but I don't care. It's Caesar. Um, uh, he's Mardu. Um, he's a 4-4, four, four, and whenever I attack, I may sacrifice another creature, and when I do, I can choose two of these effects. Um, I can create two 1-1 one, one red and white soldier creature tokens with haste that are tapped and attacking. Um, I draw a card and lose one life, or Caesar deals damage equal to the number of creature tokens I control to target opponent. Sounds pretty lit. And you're all about that uh, Mardu aggro stuff. And then, hi, I'm Morgan behind the scenes, making sure things don't fall apart like they've already been like falling they kind apart. Of already have, but, it's um, fine. but hopefully, we'll keep it from getting worse. Uh, so we're gonna let the boys resolve their mulligans. They're gonna tell funny stories, and we will get the game started here pretty soon. You guys are really gonna get to see the unaltered upkeep. Like mm -hmm. I know our videos, like our commander gameplay yeah, videos, are like horrible. 35, 40 minutes long. Our games are like two hours, and we just cut them down a lot. So you guys are gonna see that in all of its all of its glory. All right, I'm also gonna mulligan. Wow, we gave each other that hand film. Yeah, we did. I mean, mine was okay. I had two lands. I don't know about that. But. I had two lands, and then I had um, one of those, you know, enchant lands, and it adds an additional. Oh. But uh, that's not as that's not as it doesn't feel as good as just a third land. All my all my land, they were all blocked. So I needed to not hold them back. Nope. That's a no lander. I love the, the basics in this. So yeah, cool. the basics are nice. Yeah. We have one land in a Wayfarer's bubble. Ooh. We're all struggling on yeah. lands in our opening hands. All of us. The struggle bus. High five. No, it's not, not worth it. No. <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. Alright, everyone get a different person to cut your deck this time. Maybe that was the issue. All right. So I can't cut Jason's deck. Jason can cut my deck. I'll give that to Stain. Okay. Scry one to the bottom. bottom. Scry one and to the bottom. I see you. That's the card right there. It's a that's valid it. way of doing it. Alrighty, folks. Let's draw that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, oh, yeah. Better. Oh, yeah. This is... Um, Wait, Don't worry about it. <clears throat> we'll start this game one year, guys. I did cut your deck last time, but you did. What if I did this? Scry one. What if that's the best card in the deck? To the bottom, I bet you. It. What I if you? <coughs> what if you put Temple of the False God there? If I sniped, I don't think Temple of the False God is in these decks. It's in, it, it's in this one. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because they still like putting bad cards into pre cons. It's a pre con. What do you think? This expect? is probably um, fine. I'm probably fine with this, yeah. Alright, I think I'm. This is a bad risky keep, but I'm going to do it. It's 
sometimes those are the most fun. Let's, so. Yeah, let's let's. I'm ready. Bad, risky key. So who, who pretty who sure Stephen goes first. I did win yeah, the dice. Right. He rolled yes. a seventeen. Uh, Matthew, these are the unmodified precons. They yep. these have no upgrades straight as of out of now. the box. Straight out That's of the right. box into the sleeve onto the playmat. That's right. For your viewing pleasure. And uh, Matthew, I also agree with you that uh, dog meat is not as good as your roll. Uh, however, I think that they're not. I don't think they play exactly the same way. So it, mm-hmm. it's kind of kind of fun that there's at least another Naya Voltroni option. And that it's a dog. It is a dog. It does get at least a couple bonus points. Like, I mean, I Ur- love Ural dogs. Is, Ural is good, pretty good sweet, boy. though. Ural so, has a soft spot yeah. in my heart. I'm a huge, I'm a big dog person. Love mm-hmm. dogs so much. Always All right. to get this party started. Let's do does it. everyone have their hands? I think we're ready. Who's going first? Steve. I am. Steve. All right. Girl. Play slow so I have time to punch in all the cards on Scryfall. <laughs> <laughs> Except for basic lands. All right, go. We're going to be here. For I might also skip over just, like, obvious... Uh, like, go ahead. Uh, I, I might skip over the, like, <laughs> obvious staples that everyone knows. Right. Okay. You Just mean, like, you're not going to put every basic forest up? Nah, dog. I'm going to Evolving Wilds. Tap, sacrifice it. Search the library for, uh, I think, it's going to be a swamp. That will be the end of my turn. All right. I will draw my card for turn. <clears throat> my land for turn will be a Rust Veil Bridge. It's an artifact land with indestructible... I can tap for red or white. It ends by default tap, and I will pass. All right. It's kind of funny that Scryfall doesn't default to the uh, the like newest that. art, because then we would actually see the actual Fallout arts. It's just showing, like, a printing of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Um, all right, I'll play Planes. Tap it for one to play the Survivor's Med Kit. Um, it's an artifact. I can pay one, tap it, and choose one that hasn't been chosen. I can draw a card, create a food token, um, or target player loses all rad counters and sacrifice survivor's med kit. What? It's kind of sweet. It's, yeah, it's, kinda, it's a really cool It's a really card. cool one, yeah. I'm going to have to put that in Joyra. Yeah, it's cool. It's a one-man artifact. Yeah. Right, uh, draw. You know what, Steven? I like that play so much. I'm going to play Evolving Wilds. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to crack it, but I'm going to go get a forest. I'm not typing in Evolving Wilds again. <laughs> what if it what probably if I, didn't what even if I, What if I played a Terramorphic Expanse instead? Well, then I would type it in. Hmm. I would argue you wouldn't have to type it, either of those in the first Jason. place. But well, yeah, you're probably right. Okay. <laughs> people, up, keep drawing. people who don't know what Evolving Wilds are probably not watching this stream. But <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a forest. I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna pay one to play Soul Ring, and then you fool! Wow, turn two Soul Ring. I'm going to then. Uh, Did you see the table move on its own, guys? That was crazy. That was wild. Salvancos. This house is haunted. Yep, it was definitely not the tech. I'm guy. gonna pay three to play Tato Farmer. Oh, it is a one four with landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may get two rad counters. You can tap him and put target land card in a graveyard that was milled this turn onto the battlefield under your control tapped. That's I the end love of my turn. This is one of this is like one of my top three favorite cards after like the set's been out for a little bit, simply because of the flavor text. Morgan, would you do me a favor and just read that flavor text for everybody? Try one. They're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, right. so just a small uh, housekeeping thing. Steven, if you could try to keep things to the left of your playmat, and Jason, if you could try keeping things to the right of your playmat, uh, just because that's where the scryfall thing is. All right, uh, go ahead. Okay. Wait, so not keep, here. Keep things here. Yeah, but try to keep here. Uh, yeah, well, like your, you can keep your deck where it is, but yeah, just keep... Uh, well, it doesn't have to go that far over there. Hey, sure. Uh, wait can a minute. Wait go, a minute. I can... I've been annexed. Hold on. I just said we're annexing Tommy's board. I've been annexed. Wait a minute. This World War Three right. started here on Geek and Seek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is the Fallout. It is the Fallout uh, uh, yeah. deck, so it would, it would work. I am going to go to my discard phase, and I will be discarding Sentinel Sarah Lyons. Wait. And pass. You ain't got no Ooh. second land. Why didn't you keep that hand? What? Why'd that you keep, was why'd a you risky that keep, my man. That's weird. I mean, I might have two different uh, mana rocks 
so I was kind of hoping I'd draw a second land. <laughs> one of them is not a soul ring, though. Yeah, we can, we can confirm. All righty. Wow. <laughs> That's a risky keep. All right, man. Tommy, get him. All right. <laughs> get get him. Uh, untap. Uh, we're going to play a swamp. Um, yeah, play the swamp. Um, and then I'm going to tap. I'm going to pay one from the planes. Uh, tap Survivor's Med Kit to draw a card. Sweet. I already forgot what all you said that card does. I want to read it again. <laughs> um, oh, I see. Okay, yeah. The yeah, one yeah. I just did was draw, draw a card. Draw a card, yeah. Um, I see. He can read it. He can read it, Tommy. Oh, that's he, right. He's he, got okay. Scryfall. I forget. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have one land. What are you doing with it? I think that'll be it. All right, cool. Turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play this mountain. It, I think someone already said this, but it is nice that they just gave you all the full arts already. Yeah, yeah. Like, people um, are going to want them anyways. I will tap for two, and I will play Kate, Cage Brawler. Uh, it's a 1-1, one, one, and as long as it's my turn, it has Indestructible. Uh, whenever it attacks, uh, me and Defending Player each draw a card, then discard a card. I put two plus and plus counters on Kate. If I discarded a card with the highest mana value uh, of... Um, among those cards, or tied for the highest. So, no haste, so no attacks right now. But go ahead, Stephen. Okay. But that's not how I expected you You spelled Kate. That took me a second Untap, to pull up. Sorry, upkeep, stream. The wall. Uh, Jacob, yes, uh, we will save this stream. I will probably uh, cut out the fat and repost it sometime next week. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, if you go to our live stream tab, you should still be able to see it if you're not able to watch it with us now. I'm going to pay two to play Arcane Signet. I'm not typing that uh, in. Okay. People know what that is. It's Arcane Signet. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and do... Let's pay three to play the Strength Bobblehead. I can tap it to add one mana of any color. I can pay three and tap it to put a... X plus one plus one counters on target creature, where X is the number of bobbleheads you control, activate only as a sorcery. Which is kind of weird, because this is the only bobblehead in the deck. Wait, really? <clears throat> that is, yep. Well, I mean, they had, to, they had to have some way of getting the bobbleheads out besides just collector boosters. Yeah, but... I'm going to pass the turn on that note. <clears throat> All right. Oh man, Preston. Preston, why'd you keep this hand? Why'd you keep it, dude? Because <laughs> if I had lands, it'd be such a cool hand. <laughs> That's every bad hand. That's literally every bad hand. In you the could say of this every. Game. You could say every hand is good. If only I had more lands. If only I had more lands. Well, well, yeah, well yes, lands. your hand would be good if it had eleven cards instead of seven. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to my discard phase, and I will discard bottle cap blast. Oh. oh, pass. Okay. All right, untap, draw. All right. Um, That's a cool card. Sad to see it go. I'm going to play the Temple of Silence. It enters tapped. When it enters, I scry one. I'm actually going to keep that on top. I'll keep that on top. You um, draw it. I I already drew for my turn. Yeah, but you can draw with your artifact. You don't even know what he's got. No, but I can only choose one that hasn't been chosen already. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, so I can only do that once. Uh, I could create a food token, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. Remind us the name of the card. Survivor's Med Kit. That's right. Also, stream, I want to apologize for the sniffling you might hear. Uh, Morgan has cats. I'm allergic to cats. It never really bothers me. But the past couple of weeks, I've I've come over here. It's kind of bothered me a little bit. It's been so. real bad. It was real bad. If last you hear week. me sneezing or doing a little, I apologize. I also have a light cough going on. I'm trying to suppress. Well, no one cares, Preston. God. I also did not have my nap time today, so I'm a little tired. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Stephen. Are you doing so okay? I'm so sorry. I'm actually uh, having I'm a hard time it, right I'm now. It <laughs> Do I have permission to cough right. on Steven? Yeah. <laughs> That's the only place you are allowed to cough. Um, I'm just going to pass. All right, untap. Upkeep draw. Oh, cool. I'll play a planes. I will tap for one forest, one mountain, and one planes, and I will play dog meat. Yay. Dog, dog meat. Boy. Uh, right. Then I will 
do you want to read Dog Meat again just for yeah. uh, viewers? Yeah, so when Dog Meat enters the battlefield, mill five cards and then return an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. One, two, three, oh, mm. four. <laughs> <laughs> Any lands? Uh -oh. So I can, uh, I think not. Mm. Okay. Well, it doesn't no. matter right now. It's he not... can do Tato Well, farmer. I can do Tato Farmer. Oh, That's right. Yep, Tato Farmer. No lands. Um, okay. I did, noteworthy, I did mill in inventory management, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Um, but now I get to return an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. I will grab almost perfect out of my graveyard. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a I'll good one. And I'll return that to my hand. Mm. <laughs> cool. Hey, if you swing at me with Kate, I will promise to discard a two drop so you can get the higher thing. Preston's, uh, Preston's, Preston's so reliant on politics right now. I get to draw a card and hopefully oh, get a you land. you do get to draw yeah, a card. Yeah, he's trying to okay. hit lands right now. He, does. he needs that. <laughs> he's desperate for lands right now, so. Uh, Michaela, yes, they are playing the unaltered Fallout pre-cons. Um, yeah, I'll make that trade. I'll swing at you with Kate. All right. So we both discard? Oh. Uh, you draw and Yeah, you so draw draw and we, we uh, draw... And then discard. I'm going to discard... Kate's kind of sweet. I kind of dig this card. Yeah, it's cool. I like it a lot. I am discarding T45 Power Armor. I'm going to discard oh, Duchess Wayward uh, Tavern Keep. So that was two, right? Yes. This was four, so I will put two plus one plus one counters on Kate. And then how much am I taking total? Uh, it's three. Okay. Wait, do the counters come in before damage? Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's on, on attack. Oh, it's on the attack trigger? Okay, yeah. yeah. Attack I know how my cards work. I know, well, a, I know, I know, I know, I know how to read. read I've never read seen it. the card before. Well, he, read the he, card. He, he, do, he, did, he doesn't he know how to read. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> we went to pu they, we all went to public school in America. We don't we know how to, to read. Kansas public schools. <laughs> all right, yeah. I'm gonna pass. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play an island as my land for turn. Whenever Landon is a bad field under my control, I may get two red counters. <sighs> you know why not? Ooh. You want to do the thing your deck wants to do? What? Yeah, you know what? Nah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I get two red counters. <coughs> Tato Farmer is honestly kind now of a sweet card. Tato, yeah, I, can, I can't cast my commander. Uh, you should. So I can, you yeah, should. Because yeah. I was going to say yeah. it. Yeah. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Steven, slap him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay four to cast the Wise Mothman. Uh, I'll go ahead and read him off again. 3-3 three, three with flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rat counter. So I go up to three rat counters now. And I think I, all of these have rat counters in them. So. I will get my very own rat counter. Here, put it, put it, put it. Your put rad, it. Yeah, Stephen, could you uh, put the rat counters on sure. the other side? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. A uh, yeah. little easier to see. Whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, Put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures, sure? where X is the number of non-land oh. cards I also milled don't this have way. Red counters. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I thought it did. Oh, really? Okay. I yeah, I can get hey, Jason. You're... Do I have more? Take hey, Jason. Your your sister says that she upgraded her Mothman deck and is ready to pummel you with it next time you're over. Well, <laughs> well uh, Michaela, I have to ask, did you figure out that you're doing the Mothman ability wrong? Because, oh, yeah, we did. Because you were putting a plus one, plus one counter on it for each one, and you don't. It's whenever one or more. Wow, you really cannot see these D20s on camera. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you cannot see okay, them okay, at okay, all. Okay, yeah. Well, use the bigger white one. Use this bigger white one. Yeah, use this. Oh, actually, the D6 are, are e easier to read. Right, I, I feel like read. the D6 Can we just the... use the big, do the big spin downs? The, yeah, those are a little bit easier. Use the D, use the use, D6 one possible. D6. Okay, but, I'll use the D6 But one. if you go above that, use the, the bigger ones that are uh, higher contrast the, between the, the, the colors. The dots are just easier yeah. to see. I'm, yeah, not put, I'm not putting a, count, a dice on it for just one. Okay. I'm, Unless you really want me to. Okay, I will. I didn't I'm say then, anything. <laughs> I'm then going to pay a blue and uh, two colorless, one float. One of those will be floating. I'm going to cast Pepper Wright, Public Reporter. It's a 1-2 human detective. Uh, whenever Pepper Wright deals combat damage to a you player... Mean, Wait, Stephen. Um, how do you, you mean Piper right? <laughs> yes. Oh, I was what gonna say. I tried. I typed in Pepper right, and nothing Piper came up. Right. Okay. Who's the one can't read? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Start over. Uh, What's the card that deal? Was funny. <laughs> whenever, whenever Piper deals combat damage to a player, investigate that many times. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. So what you're saying is you're gonna sacrifice clues and then 
pepper your creatures up a little bit. Yes, just gonna pepper <laughs> pepper them up real nice. That's correct. That will be the end of my turn. All right, draw land. Here's the land. Oh my gosh, I might need this for my new clue deck. This is kind Richard? of a cool card. Yay! Yay, do the do the hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that before your free combat main phase. Well, so you oh, yeah. you still draw that land. Yes, you yeah. still draw that land. Yes. You just won't play it right now. So I will be. All oh, right, radiation. So you mill radiation. Go, one, you mill one. If mill, it, you mill one. Paladin not, dance steel maverick. Ooh. So it's a non land. I will lose life and the rat counter. Your buddy. First blood. Yep. One, one, oh wait, no, not first non land cards are milled, but it belong to each to X type creatures. It's the number. And I'm sorry. What's the land three, you're so playing, Preston? One. So I'll put a one one counter on. Yeah, probably the worst one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm playing Exotic Orchard as my land for turn. Oh, okay. And then I will tap two to cast Talisman of, of Conviction. He's uh, getting mana. I can either tap it for a colorless or I can tap it for a red or white, and it deals one damage to me. And I will pass. Okay. Untap. Uh, draw on my pre-combat main phase. Rad counter. I mill one. It is Keeper of the Accord. It's a creature, um, so I lose a life and the rad counter. Cool. <clears throat> uh, Pre-combat main phase. Play Swamp. Um, yeah, there it is. Uh, for two and a white. For Yes Man, Personal Securitron. Oh, I love this card. Yeah, he's oh, cool. 2-2, yeah. um, I can tap him, and target opponent gains control of Yes Man, Personal Securitron. When they do, I draw two cards and put a quest counter on Yes Man. Activate only during my turn. Um, and he has an ability called Wild Card. When Yes Man leaves the battlefield, its owner, so would be me, creates a tapped 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token for each quest counter on it. I'm sorry, my man Tommy. Uh, I was spacing out. When you uh, oh, did God. the rat, when you, oh, did my God. The, <laughs> when you did the rad counter thing, was that a non land card that was put in? There? Yes. Okay. I put a one counter on. Uh, nah, that's good enough for me again. Preston, uh, Matthew says he's proud of you for uh, taking a game action. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> I'm proud of me too. <laughs> on turn four, or whatever. We are we are all happy that Preston is actually able to do stuff now. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Do Got one else. mana left. Do I want to do anything else? Do I want to go ahead and create that? Yeah, let's let's do it. Um, then tap for one. Tap the survivor's med kit to create a food token. All right. And that'll be it for my turn. I will untap. Is your hungry? I'll keep in. Draw. Where's my food? That's really cool. There's a food token. Uh, I will play this planes. Don't forget to rat counters. I oh I forgot. I won't play the planes. Yeah. Yet. I mean, probably. It's confusing because so uh, many of the, the things... Perception bobblehead. So I can look at the top X cards of my library. It doesn't matter. It's, it's going to mill. the graveyard. Oh, it makes me sad. Put I don't want to play that. West Mothman. And I do lose this red counter and I lose a life. Steven, are you just going to commander damage people out of this game? Look how big Mothman's getting. It's very good at doing that. It's yeah. good at doing that, yeah. Uh, so now I will play this planes as my land for the turn. Yeah, um... I think the best thing for me to do right now is to tap for three, and uh, I will play the agility bobblehead. Then I will <clears throat> tap for one, and I will play the basilisk collar. It's a good one. It's a good one. Then I will move to combat. I will swing Kate at Tommy, mm. and I will swing Dog Meat. Actually, you want to draw another card? I'd be willing to draw another card. All right, I'll swing Kate at you, and I will swing Dog Meat at you, Tommy. At me? Uh, so dog when Dog Meat enters three? the battlefield, mill five cards, and then on attacks, um, whenever, oh, wait, oh, I don't have any enchanted or equipped creatures right now. Okay, that's fine. But so we're gonna do the draw and discard first. Yes, we are gonna. And I take right. three commander damage. It's Something? not damage doesn't have yet. Oh, okay. Uh... 
Okay. This is the card I'm going to be discarding. You go ahead and you just let me know whenever you have your chosen card. <clears throat> I was going to say, why are you being sneaky about it? I will it, be discarding this one. All right. So I'm discarding a land. I'm discarding Vault 12 Sadistic Simulation. I just discarded the Terramorphic Expanse. So I won't get the counters, but you still have a 3-3 Indestructible coming at you. I will be taking the three. And now you take your and three. And now I've got three commander damage. Three from commander dog damage meat. from dog meat. Cool. I'm gonna pass after that. All right. Untap, upkeep, the wah. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, mill. So I'll mill three cards. So I'm gonna mill uh, contaminated drink, sunken hollow, and alpha death claw. Dang it, I like that card. Um, so I will, uh, lose two life and a rat counter, right? Two life, two rat counters. Two life, two rat counters. Oh, yeah, that, the alpha death claw. Oh, yeah, another plus that one. one counter. Yeah. He gets to put two. Two, two, two. for each non-land, so there's, yeah. So there's, I but milled you, three. But you have to choose two land. different creatures. Right, so I'll go ahead and do. Yeah, he gets one plus a plus one counter, but he distributes. For two different creatures. Two different creatures, yeah. 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 One pepper, right? That's why you were getting it wrong, Michaela. You can't put them all on one creature. On the same creature, yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to play an island as my little turn, Unacceptable. which will get me two more. I will do the two more lanes from the Tato Farmer. And then, so I'm... you're at three, right? Yeah, you're at three. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I am at three. Steven doesn't know how to read. Now he doesn't know how to count. I never learned anything. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas public school system, everybody. <laughs> All right. Uh, Solar Ring, Arcane Signet for green, and then a swamp. I'm going to play Young Death Claws. So it is a 4-2 Lizard Mutant with Menace. Each creature card in your graveyard has Scavenge. The Scavenge cost is equal to its mana cost. So those don't know scavenge, what scavenge is. Exile a creature card from your graveyard and pay its mana cost. Put a number of X plus one plus one counters on that card. That card's power on target creature. Or equal to that card's power on target creature. I'm sorry. Scavenge only has a sorcery. So that's kind of cool. That's a, that's a cool mechanic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to tap Tato Farmer and put a card that was milled this turn into the battlefield under my control tap. Uh, a land, land specifically. Land. A land. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. A land. Land, yes. Sunken Hollow. He can't read, boys. You know, we got to understand <laughs> this. And then... I think I have a foil. That's another land coming in. It is another land. Yeah. And I'll, sure, I'll, you know, I'll take two more. Why not? All the rad. And He's then, so rad. So rad. <clears throat> Let's do, uh, let's go to combat. I'm going to attack Jason with the Wise Mothman. I'm going to attack um, Preston with Piper. Well, I have no choice. I will take the seven. Sweet. Seven when he commander attacks, damage. Uh, each player gets a red counter. Look at you. You're back. All right, so how big is Piper? It is uh, two damage. Two, oh, yeah. two three. That's Whenever Piper deals combat damage to a player, I investigate that many times. So I'll investigate twice, correct? So I think we're at the point where we need to get rid of the Mothman. No. Yeah. The card's insane. Do I, know? I mean, it literally, it's put me on a two-turn clock now. Yeah, it really has. Like, I have, yeah. I have two turns left in this game if he attacks me two more times. And then it's a three-turn clock for one of you. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Um, I think I can. I think I can do something about it. Beautiful, love that. I don't think. I don't think you'll be very happy with it. But so are you gonna destroy all artifacts, or no? You destroy all creatures? Maybe. Who can knows? You, we'll see. Can you do it at instant speed? No. Darn it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that will be the end of my turn. By the way. All right. On tap. Draw. I will mill a card. Nick Valentine, Private Eye. Cool. Lose a life and the rad counter. I will put a 1-1 counter on... Let's do the Young Death Claws this time, actually. Let's mix it up a bit. 
You're just saying that because he's the only blocker you got. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to tap one for a soul ring. So you did have soul ring. No, I just drew it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lucky. I would have played that a while ago. I was going to say. I was thinking. If like, he's been sitting on that, that's just dumb. Yeah, because now I'm going to pay two for a thought vessel. It's not necessarily dumb, I guess. I mean, if you only have one land in hand, it's like, why necessarily make everyone else at the table? I no longer run out Soul Ring on turn one unless I have a follow up. Oh yeah, yeah. Even if I can. Yeah. If okay, yeah. If he had it on turn one and didn't have a follow up, okay. But it's it's turn like five or six now. He should. If he had it since turn one, he would have at least played it on turn two. (laughs) And then I'm going to tap two for a Mind Stone. All the artifacts. All the artifacts. All of them. All if the man blows up all the artifacts, I will sob. <laughs> Still, you will see a grown man cry. <laughs> no land. And you will have to live with it. Missed the land drop. <clears throat> oh, those, yeah, I did. All those mana rocks. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> um, Jeez. Uh, Papa Bear in the chat. Yes, I agree that if you have Mothman and you... Uh, Focus on the proliferate. That can be pretty insane. Mm-hmm. That actually might be f- kind of fun. If I've you're... been, yeah, I've been thinking about that. I was like, dang, a lot of proliferating with the mo- the the Mothman, Mothman would be kind of really insane. Good. Yeah, if you're gonna upgrade it, that's definitely the way to go. Because then you just it. just give everyone just every, every time you proliferate, just give everyone more rat counts. Mm-hmm. All right, boys, we mill them out. Right. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. really I'm actually really impressed with radiation. I actually think it's quite strong. Yeah, yeah it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's, good. Cool. it's cool. It's cool. Expert level safe. It's a two cost artifact. It says when it enters the battlefield, exile the top two cards of your library face down. And then I can pay one and tap it. You and target opponent each secretly choose one, two, or three. Then those choices are revealed. If they match, I sacrifice uh, the safe and put all cards exiled with it uh, into their own hands. Otherwise, exile the top card of your library face down. Huh. So do I get to look at those? You exile two cards from your library face down. Yeah. So, so I think it. So no, you wouldn't. I don't think so. Because if they're exiled okay. face down, they're not public information, and if it unless it says. But they're my cards. Is the reason I. I have. mean, I think it just wouldn't be public. Oh man. Mm. I think you could see it. So I just don't think it's public. Wait, I get, we can always just do this. Wizards probably say, has yeah. a ruling for it. I just looked. It doesn't have it a doesn't. ruling on it. It's the thing with newer cards like that. I think. Ooh. I think, I think he you should be able to see it. Well, I Wait, think it's like a, it. I think it's like Beaumont car- Carrier. If you guys remember that card from Kaladesh, I think you just leave it face down, and then whenever it does its thing, then they go to your yeah. Hand I thought face and down, and they they yeah, stay I don't, face down. Yeah, I think yeah, I don't think you get to look at them. Okay, I thought that's yeah, it's, I think it's like Beaumont Carrier. Yeah, I think that was the name of the card. Yeah. Okay. So just if if it doesn't say you can look at it, then you can't look okay. at it. Okay. I, I wasn't sure, so I thought so it would I, be important like, to ask. I, I thought that's how face down exiling usually works. Is Target me! <laughs> Alright, pass. Cool. <clears throat> I'll pick two every time, I swear. I'll pick two! <laughs> well, I can't do it right now, I don't have any mana. I'm really gonna pick a three. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! All right. Um, Papa Bear said he got to uh, 15-ish rad counters. That's pretty insane. Oof. Wow. That's... That's a lot of rad. That's dude. a lot, actually. Yeah. You're so rad. And uh, Papa Bear, not sure where you're at, but we are in the uh, general northeast Kansas area. But uh, yeah, if we're ever at conventions or you're there or whatever, uh, we definitely would get some games in with you. For Heck sure. yeah, man. Um, okay. For two white, white. I'm going to play Vault 75 oh, you Middle didn't, School. You didn't do the radiation. I didn't do. We're going to. Hold on. Or are you going to do it? Yeah. I'm going to... So... Just one. one. Yeah, just one. Mill one. Uh, Colonel Autumn. It's a creature, so I lose it. I'll put a wall encounter on Young Death Claws. All right. I feel like the the beginning of the pre-combat main phase with how specific that is, it's just a weird M- trigger. Almost all of those kinds of effects do it at the beginning of turn. Yeah, exactly. I like it, though, that it's beginning of pre-combat main phase because you still get to draw. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I mean it's it's, uh, it's, it's not it's, it's like not that it. it's bad. It's just a weird place to do it, so you forget about it. It's, it's abnormal. It. Yeah. It's, it's you just forget about it because usually you would have just done it. Beginning so what of your were turn you gonna do? Off. So I was going to do for two and two white white vault seventy five middle school. It's a saga. Um, so as it enters and after my draw step, I add a lore counter. Uh, the first one is exile all creatures with power four or greater. Bye bye Mothman. Oh, I'm fine with that. None of my creatures are power four or greater. <laughs> yeah, I read that. I read that again when I was in my hand. I was like, actually, never mind. That's yeah, good Tom, for 
everyone except Mothman. All creatures with power four or greater? All, all creatures exile all creatures four with power four. So it's only two for you. That sucks. I just wanted. I just mainly wanted to get Mothman out of there because he was getting scurry. I mean, shoot! After one rotation, Matthew seven. fact checked us. You for sure do not get to look. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Thank, Matthew. Thank you. Appreciate Love you. you. <laughs> I need to get us. If we ever do another one of these live streams, I need a second monitor so I can like. Well, even if I have OBS going, I can still like look up, up gatherer or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is that it, or? Um, and then you can swing at Steven. He is at the. 38. I kind of want to do my yes man's thing though. Start oh, yeah, setting him around point. the table. Oh yeah. Um. How many cards do I have in hand? Six. Perfect. Wait, no, that's not good. Crap. Wait till. Or can you only do it at sorcery speed? I can only do it on my turn. Oh, okay. Activate only during my turn. I'm probably um, discarding one. Let me look at what's in here. Let me do it. I don't know why I want it. I, what does he do again? Uh, for you, nothing. Um. When he when he when he becomes when he moves around, um, I draw two cards and put a quest counter on him. Um, and when he leaves the battlefield, I create a tapped one one uh, creature token for each quest counter. No, no. So it's, whenever you give oh, yeah, him to someone, they can tap him, draw the two cards, make him bigger. Or give right. Him yeah. Yeah. Counter. Yeah. So so yeah. When he when you get him, nothing. But when you tap him, you would then draw the two cards. Yeah. And oh, you would yeah. get another quest it's, counter. It's kind of like Humble Defector. Yeah, a little bit like Humble Defector. Let me let me get him and I'll give him the press. Except we'll when Steve. when Yes Man leaves, then so Tommy down. gets creatures out of it. <laughs> yeah, except I will I will get creature tokens when he leaves the battlefield. That's kind of interesting that it says it's owner. I wish it said it's controller. That would be yeah. cool. It would be cool, yeah. All right. Um Cause then it's like a then it's like a you send him off and you're like Come back, please. <laughs> yeah, you kind of hoping he comes back. Hey, Michaela, are you like your brother and and like just aggressively cut lands from your deck? <laughs> mm, she does not. Um, yeah, she got she got upset with me the other day because I like st I got her to a decent amount of infect, and then I was like, I'm gonna give you more infect so I can kill you and get you out of the game, and she accused me of like like targeting her specifically and i was like well i was but it's just it's not smart to spread around infect like that because then you just give people unless chances. you have proliferate unless you have, unless you have which proliferate which i didn't have at the time i didn't have a whole lot of it i had like spells that would do it but no consistent effects oh yeah so yeah i just all right yeah so we're gonna <clears throat> go let's go ahead we're gonna tap yes man um and give him to <clears throat> give him to jason i draw two cards <laughs> Papa Bear says that he's from Florida, and all the stereotypes are, tr are accurate. <laughs> are you the Florida man? He's, he's do the we have, Florida man. Do we have I... Florida man in the chat? <laughs> the Florida man. The Florida man? The Florida Yo, man. F in the chat for Florida man right now. Pay oh, your respects. Nice. <laughs> um, oh, oh, you know what? Man. Actually. <laughs> Michaela says 32 lands is plenty. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right. So it runs in the family. Got it. <laughs> Let's put this on there to remember how many counters he has. Yes, yep. yes, good idea. Well, yeah, I mean, he gets a quest counter, so yeah, just put a counter on him. But I just did the planeswalker, so it didn't look oh. like the radiation one. True, that works. Um, and I have not played a land for turn, so I'm going to play this Shadow Blood Ridge with my land, and discard. now I don't have to discard. So that worked out well. Brilliant. I will pass. Untap. Did you say Shadow Blood Ridge? Draw. Yes. And now I do the red is there counter a thing. Oh, there is a follow. It is a forest. <laughs> no. Um. So yeah, nothing happens. It's just milled a forest. We were just talking cool. about last week how much we hate these cycle of lands. Uh, I don't like those lands. I don't, I don't like them. Either. I I like them in like three or four color decks. Where you like you may need to fix your colors where it's like I need a black. Yeah, and but a then red. they just have a like. There's other filter lands like there's yeah. the ones that yeah, come in untapped and they one, tap for a colorless. One, it's, it's a generic to activate it. You don't need one of the colors to activate it. Yeah, that's what makes it. A, that's what makes it more viable to me. Is I mean, the fact that you you're don't... trading in colorless for color. Exactly, yeah, yeah. that's a pretty good deal. It's a, and it's you're a... trading in one colorless for two color. Yeah. So it's a good deal. I just don't like. How much do I end up having to think about how where my colors are going when I use them? Well, build better decks, I suppose. The precon. Yeah, for me it's more. <laughs> for me, for me it's a. Jordan, brain. you got me. You didn't have to pick that one. 
For me, it's a brain thing. I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> all right. Um. God, I really want to do the thing, but I'm going to do something else instead, which this is fine. I'm going to tap for two white, and I'm going to play the Pure Steel Paladin. Ooh. Nice. Whenever yeah. an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. And then equipment have... Uh, Pay equip zero as long as you control three or more artifacts. That's a classic. And yeah. as it happens, because of Yes Man, I do have three or more artifacts. Oh, yeah, because he is an artifact creature. You're welcome. Yep, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to tap for three. Um, and I'm going to play the Crimson Caravaner. Car Caravaneer. Uh, it's a 1-2 with double strike and trample, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create a junk token. I am going to equip the Basilisk Collar to Dog Me. Um, then I'm going to move to combat. Steven, I'm going to swing at you with Kate. Tommy, I'm going to swing at you with Dog Meat again. Ouch. I gave you Yes Man, and you're going <laughs> to swing at me with your commander again. Yeah. Wow. I, that was never a... It was that, never a deal. Never, I didn't make a deal. That's fair. That's fair. So we each draw a card and <clears throat> discard a card? Yes. We will draw a card and discard a card. Do not reveal the card Do you're discarding until I know what I'm discarding oh, yeah. and okay. vice versa because the CMC of what we're discarding matters. Mm -hmm. you don't I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot. I'm going to discard this. <laughs> I guess so. So... You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to discard uh, Infesting Rad Roach. I'm discarding Rogue Fast. Okay. So I don't get any counters. Um, but you have a 3-3 three, three with Indestructible coming at you. And uh, Tommy, you have a 3-3 three, three with Death Touch and Lifelink coming Yeah, like I'll take three. <clears throat> I will gain three from the Lifelink. Uh, then I will tap Yes Man. And I will draw two cards. And I will put another quest counter on the boy. And I'm going to give him to Preston. Here you go, Preston. Yippee! There's your quest counters. Wow. Gosh, I love Yes Man. Such a fun wow. card. He's cool. I like it. I drew two lands, boys. I'm happy with that. Uh, pass. There are worse things uh, to do. Your draw. end step, I'm going to pay two, sack a clue, draw a card, and I'm going to do it again. Pay two, sack a clue, draw a card. Okay. And then <clears throat> untap. Steven, were you here, uh, I think, last week when I played my new clue deck? It was uh, so fun. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot to do this. I don't think so. Or I don't, I don't know. I forgot to do this. Uh, when Dogmeat attacked because it was equipped, I make a junk token. Oh, yes. Sweet. Like the wah. And then... Six. Let's, yep, I'm going to have to mill six cards. All right. Temple of Malady. That's okay. Cultivate. Uh, fetid Pools. Forest. Inspiring Call and Guardian Project. Ooh. That's six right here. That is six. Yeah, so you only got three non lands. Yep, so I got three non lands. So, so you'll lose three reds and lose three. three. Lose three. Well, that, overall, that was pretty good for six mil. Yeah, that's yeah. on yeah. things you don't want to hit. Mm hmm. I mean, I don't know the Guardian Project. Guardian Project. Would be cool the Guardian Project. Yeah. I would have loved yeah. that. Those things that only one thing is good. And one thing being good, yeah. yeah that's pretty good. That's a good art. Does that speak to how good the deck is or how bad it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you like your lands going in the graveyard. I know, but I'm saying, like, yeah. if you're okay with milling five cards out of six, it's like, man, how good are those cards? Well, it's also good at getting creatures back. And I, 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 I was just making a point. I'm not being absolute about it. There only are a, ways Only to a make... Sith deal in absolutes. Exactly. <laughs> which is, that which in, in itself, itself is, an, is absolute. an absolute, which is just... Really encaps encapsulates the writing for the prequel trilogy in that one line right there. <laughs> like, uh, Papa Bear, I used the clue precon uh, as a starting point, but I switched out that Marnius Calgar is the commander, so it's Esper, uh, which ends. There's a lot of fun black cards that you can play with clues, so that's why I ended up doing that. But I did use that precon as a starting point. I'm going to pay a swamp, a forest, an island, and. Let's just say green and to play the master transcendent. Oh, it is a two four mutant. When it enters the battlefield, target player gets two rad counters. Let's do uh, let's do Tommy. Okay, 
you get two rat counters. I can tap the Master Transcendent uh, to put target creature card in a graveyard that was milled this turn onto the battlefield under your control. It's a green Ooh. bean with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. And it loses its other colors and creature types. I'm I'm probably going to build a deck around that. It's a, it's, it's a cool I one. I really like it's that really ability. Cool I really like it, especially because it's a graveyard. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. graveyard. <clears throat> oh my god, yeah, that's cracked. <laughs> well, that was also... <laughs> Morgan's oh, just sitting at the side processing everything. The gears are slowly turning. Oh, that's cool. Morgan's just... Oh. <laughs> Bro, I have so many things I'm trying to run right now. I got it! <laughs> I gotta keep Scryfall and OBS going and keep an eye on chat. I'm only half reading cards. <laughs> I'm going to tap the Soul Ring to play uh, Nuka Nuke Launcher. Uh, equipment, uh, equipped creature gets plus three, plus zero, and has Intimidate. Uh, which, to those who don't know, it can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. Whenever equipped creature attacks, until the end of defending player's next turn, that player gets two rad counters whenever they cast a spell. Ouch. So then, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's pay three to equip the Nuka Nuke Launcher to Piper, giving it plus three plus zero and intimidate oh that's actually kind of cracked because that's yeah. bu buffing its power by three yeah mm -hmm. so it's up it's up to five right now and then and it yeah, has intimidate good. you gonna get yourself a potato uh i'm gonna be getting a lot of clues oh yes and then and then potato I'll, I'll i'll do that in a sec here though um so let's see. Who do I want to attack? Do I ask a question? Let's do... Uh, I don't think anyone can block it right now. All right. Nope. No, here. no one else yeah. has a blue creature. So I'm going or, to... Or I'm, just, I'm going to attack Jason for five. I have no choice but to take five. Sweet. I will create five clue tokens. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is so good. <laughs> the deck is dumb. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and so until the end of sweet. my next turn, I get two rad counters every time I cast a spell. That is correct. <laughs> That's fun. Until the <laughs> end. It's a good time. Yeah. I'm going to be so rad. <laughs> so rad. Just don't cast anything. He's going to be the coolest but, dude. But I want to. I'm going to cast one thing, and then I'm going to kill Steven with it. Oh, heck yeah. Well, maybe not kill Steven. <laughs> right. I mean, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's oh, let's not here. get crazy here. I'm going to play... Uh, Temple of Mysteries, my land for turn. When it is about, it enters tapped. When it is about to fill, I scry one. Is it good one? Uh, is it Guardian Project good? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna bomb it. That's a no. no. That's a no. Apparently no. <laughs> and then, I mean, if it was good, he should bottom it because he's gonna mill it. Right. Oh well, no, he'll draw it first. And doesn't yeah, it, he his waste? If, if it's a land, he can get it back. If it's a creature, he can get it back. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do it. No, I'm gonna leave him as a blocker. I'll pass. Uh, wait, you are wait. Were you mm -hmm. deciding if you were gonna attack again? No. No, no he tap Tato Farmer. Tato. Oh, tap because right. he won't be able to get a land back with Tato Farmer if he passes a turn. Right. right. Not at least not of the lands that I milled. Yeah, that you just milled right now. Right. Yeah. I could do what you with you. All right. If yeah, you mill a land. land. This is my hand. All right. Drop. Okay. All right. Um, who wants yes man? I'll take him again. I wouldn't say no to it. Steven, I mean, well, Tommy, Tommy, you want to rock, paper, scissors for it? And think about how many times I've helped you out this game. Well, I'm going to say, whoever I'm doing this with, let me do expert level safe. That's I already told you to pick me <laughs> for that. Right. You can have it. I, you can have it. I don't okay. care. <laughs> All right. So we'll both write down our number between one, two, and three. All right. One, two, and three. I, I'm going to go ahead and just be random about it. Huh? I do have to pay one to do that. All right, Got my number so written down. I will do this one. All right. <laughs> Two. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> all right, so I sacrifice it and put all of these cards into my hand. Cool. Kind of right. cool. I am glad I did that. Sick, bro. Oh, yeah. 
should I'll erase this for you. Friend. I shouldn't need that for a bit. <laughs> oh, bad throw. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. First, I'm going to tap Yes Man to draw two cards. It'll get another counter, and I'll give it back to Jason. Yay! You're doing God's work, son. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh. Here comes the cat. You're going to be sneezing like a nightmare. Uh, I'll, be right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I breathe through my mouth. Okay. That's, that's yeah. how you do it. Yeah. Before, I'm going to cast Unexpected Windfall as an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two, create two treasure tokens. That's such a good card. I was card. not expecting that. a really good card. It's such a good card. I love that card. I will discard Irrigated Farmland. Draw two, create two. It's really good for you right now. Yeah. Hopefully you find a land. Did you? Well, he Wait a minute, need time him. out. He doesn't Did need you him. discard a land? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his I, goals His I'm, goals are beyond our understanding. I've drawn a lot of cards now. I'm, I'm not hurting for lands now. I just haven't played one this He also time. just created two treasure tokens, so he's not hurt, exactly hurting for mana either. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly hurting for lands in my hand at the moment. It's just a funny visual. Yeah. No. Him with two lands. Well, Discarding Steven has like 12. He's missed, mo he's missed more land drops than he's hit, and yet he discards a land. <laughs> Never assume to know what I'm going to do. I was going to say, your goals are beyond our understanding at this point. Like, we just... My land for turn is going to be Sulphur Falls. I can tap it for blue or red. Seven. I cannot cast my commander at the moment unless I want to use treasures. Do you control a mountain or an island? No. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Apple core. Preston's trying to cheat. <laughs> he did judge. <laughs> well, I'm he not did cheating. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> judge, in my defense, I'm stupid. <laughs> I may be stupid. Valid, valid defense. Defense is accepted. Pass for now. All right. I'll give it back to you, Tommy. Don't you worry, bud. Draw. And go ahead and do the rat counter after thingy. My, after my draw, well, no, after my draw step, first I do this. Okay. Doesn't do anything because I don't control any creatures. Sweet. And now on my main phase, I do the rad counters. Mm -hmm. uh, Memorial to Glory and the Nipton Lottery. So I lost, that was one. What was, I'm sorry, what was the first thing you did? Memorial to Glory. It's a land. Did you lose a life? Not yet. Okay. I will now. I, I had done the rad counter and then they asked me a question. Um. Well, Steven asked you well, a question. Steven asked me a question. They. I don't like being included in <laughs> they. <laughs> wow, all right. Fair enough. Um, cool. Okay, first things first. You tap one for a soul ring. Um, hey, what game is the master from? I forget. Any first or second? Yeah, he's from one or two. Wouldn't it be cool if they remastered one of those games? Probably. I think it would be. I would absolutely play it. I have not played one. As long as they keep it a top-down perspective or an isometric perspective, but just remaster it that way, I think it'd be cool. Um, Did Morgan just go to the bathroom? We didn't have to say that, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to tap the Soul Ring, using one of it to tap the Shadow Blood Ridge for a black and a red, using the other colorless of it and this Plains... To play Caesar, Kaiser, Legion's Emperor. Um, yeah, someone. Wanna... Let me see if I can do this. Let me see. I don't. Yeah. Let's hope you don't bork it too badly. I don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said it was kind of a kind of a janky setup. You know what? You were just gonna let him do it. I'm not gonna mess with it. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Um. It kind of doesn't really matter because it's when I attack and I can't attack with anything this turn, so it doesn't really matter. Um, 
Pero. What? <laughs> Pero means but in Spanish. So I was like, but. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. What else? What um, else is happening? I don't know. I'll play him. I've got two mana open. Face the turn. I might just use that uh, food token. Yeah, let's just use these two. Um, to tap and sacrifice the food token and gain three life. Uh, and then I'll pass. Untap. <clears throat> uh, upkeep. Draw. Um, he played his commander. I played my commander. Congratulations. Well, you can put it on the screen if you <laughs> wanted the viewers it. to see the card. I mean, he can't do any, he couldn't do anything this turn because it's, it's only on attacks and I have nothing to attack with, but. But still, they can see it. They can anyway, see it. Um, so now I will mill for the radiation counters. Uh, sticky fingers. Oh, I like this one. So I mill that. Lose a life. <clears throat> All right, um. I will play this command tower as my land for the turn. Yeah, this is this is now now is the time. I'm gonna tap for six. Oh. And I'm gonna play almost perfect. There it is. I'm going to enchant dog meat uh -oh. with almost perfect. So what's the deal? <laughs> dog meat's base power and toughness is nine ten and he is indestructible. And don't forget he also and still he has, has he has death touch, life link. And indestructible now. <laughs> From the Basilisk Caller. Like right? No. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Steven, dog, yeah. dog meat, coming at you. Um, we got that Preston, dog Crimson Caravan Caravaneer. It's a one-two with double strike and trample coming at you. And Tommy, you're gonna get Kate. Hey Morgan, did they put Path to Exile and or Swords to Plowshares in any of these decks? I think so. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on attacks, first, I will make a junk token uh, because I have an equipped or enchanted creature attacking, so I have two junk tokens now. Um, then Kate will trigger. I'm swinging Kate at you, Tommy. Mm -hmm. So you and I will draw a card. Okay. And then we each discard a card. Without... Revealing it first? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather get rid of that. Just discard a land and call it good. I don't want to do that. Because I want to make your creature bigger. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, this sucks, but I think I'll get rid of that. All right, ready? One, yep. two, three. Uh, Stone strategy, four in a red. So five. Totally cool with that. I discarded uh, acquired mutation. Um, so you have a 3-3 three, three with Indestructible coming at you. You have a 9-10 with Indestructible, Death Touch, and Lifelink coming at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to block with Tato Farmer. Rest in peace. <laughs> All right, I, uh, and then you have a 1-2 uh, Double Strike Trample coming so at you. two total. Yeah. But it has Double Strike. and it's uh, The reason the Double Strike matters is because whenever it deals when you... combat damage, I make a Junk Token. Oh. So it deals it twice, so I make two Junk Tokens. And if you start making, put stuff on to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's <clears throat> um, no, you, you get you gain life. Yes, I gain nine life off a of dog meat. Oh, God, <laughs> and then I will tap yes man, and I will draw two cards, and I will give yes man to you, Tom. Oh, thank you, Tom. Tom. So we'll get another. Oh my gosh, that's the second time I've activated yes man and drawn two lands. You're welcome. welcome I don't here. know if I'm a fan of that. I don't you know. Out of the way. You were last time. <laughs> How many quest counters does Yes Man have now? Four. It's not bad. Hmm. 
I do think um, I'm just going to pass after that. Okay. I'm tappy. Lucky draw. All right, let's do this. Three, three cards being milled. Uh, future for putrefy. I cannot speak today. Lumbering Mega Sloth and Agent Frank Horrigan. So that was three non lands. Three non lands. That is correct. So I get rid of all my yep. All my red is gone. Look at me. Bless you indeed, <laughs> sir. Thank you. Let's do a swamp as my land for turn. And then. I also like the junk tokens because in a certain, like in certain decks, they can help you kind of get through. Like if you're, if you're manipulating the top of your library and you know what's on top and you can't get rid of it, well now you can. All right, so I'm going to pay one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. I'm going to recast the Wise Moth Man. It's coming back out. When it is a battlefield, each player gets a rad counter. I was going to say, your uh, radiation deck looks kind of sus if only one person's radiated. Yeah, I'm trying to fix that. Dule Hill. I can fix that. <laughs> My boy Gus. Um, <laughs> That's the wrong character, but yes. Well, <laughs> same actor. Uh, <laughs> and let's do... Um, so sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm going to attack Jason with Piper. So that's an, that's going to be another 5 damage. You cannot block because of Intimidate. Uh, yeah. I get uh, five, oh, 5 more. Um, I also, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I have 3 rad counters. Because when I cast this, I got two rad counters from that. That is, yes. So yes. I have three rad Thank counters. Thank you for pointing that out, because I... And now it's going to happen sure. again. It's yeah. Just wrong again. If I cast another spell, which I'm gonna. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> it's almost like that's how the game works. All right. Uh, then I'm going to... Let's go ahead and tap the Master Transcendent. I'm going to... Put a creature card... Tar target creature card in a graveyard that was milled this turn onto the battlefield of my control. It's a green mutant with base power and toughness 3 tier. I'm going to return Agent Frank Horgan uh, to the battlefield. At least it's not an 8-6. At it, least it's not an 8-6. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a 3. Do I have like anything that... Oh, know? so the thing you used to bring it back with makes its base power, power and toughness 3-3, three, three, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, but go ahead and read Agent Frank. Yeah, so, so Agent Frank... So he's not an eight six. He's a three three with trample. He has indestructible as long as it attacked this turn, and whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, I proliferate twice. So I'll go ahead and proliferate. Uh, everyone gets an extra rad counter, and then wait, just one? Yeah, yeah, an extra okay. one two times. No, he said he's... oh proliferate twice. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do it again. I was like, he said Sorry, everyone gets a rad counter. Yeah. I was like, oh, so we only get one. Also, I'm gonna okay. read. I'm gonna read the master because he he and had then... the choice to not give us two. Yes, that will not get additional counters. Oh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. oh no! You no, want to no, put no. an extra quest Sorry, counter on the yes good. man? Uh, what? I don't remember what the quest counter. Did. When it Whenever leaves the leaves, when it leaves the battlefield, he's gonna make that many one ones. So Why would I do that? Because <laughs> I want creatures. Well, you got you got one. Yeah, so far the attacky deck team. doesn't have that many creatures. Um. Yeah. I think that will uh, be the end of my turn. Before you pass, I'm gonna pay one blue, and then two colorless. I'm gonna cast Thirst for Knowledge, draw three cards, then discard two cards unless I discard an artifact. Sounds good. 
Hey, Preston, what if instead of trying to get rid of dog meat, you try to get rid of Steven's stuff, and then I'll just kill Steven with dog meat? I mean, that is an option. Doesn't that sound fun? I feel like that sounds really fun. <laughs> Someone stop me if it doesn't sound like fun. Because it sounds like fun. It doesn't sound like fun to me. I don't know. To me, from my vantage point, the two decks that everyone assumed were going to do well are the two decks that are doing well. I'm going to destroy <laughs> Sentry Bot. It's an artifact creature. All right. Then your turn can pass. Draw my card for turn. Just gave you permission to pass your own turn. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, oh that's no. so sad. You got rid of my win con. <laughs> oh, no. So three. And those are going on. Third creature. So put a one-one counter on... Uh, it was three? Yes. So one on the Wise Mothman, one on Agent Frank, and... Um, you might as well put it on the Master so you can proliferate all of them. If you have more proliferate stuff coming. Like yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I will do that. He has five mana available to him right now. I don't <laughs> really care for that. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just going to draw some cards. Sure. Sure. Why don't you draw cards right now? No, I've been drawing a lot of lands. Well, that's not very helpful at all. No, it's not. And I'm sorry. You know. I would like to be of more help, but it's just not the way the cookie is crumbling at this juncture. I'm going to pay three to bring out my commander. Woohoo! Everyone's commander has hit the board! Yay! Human scientist two, three. Whenever I cast an artifact, I get an energy, and then I can pay an energy to make the creature get plus one and gain trample and haste till end of turn. Three energy to draw a card, or five energy to return target artifact. Card from a graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Then I have one, two, three. Five, six mana available. Flowers. All right, now I think you cast the board wipe. Now that you finally cast your commander. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't think that's right. Let's wipe everything off the face of the planet right Mountain. now. Blasphemous act. Uh, actually, that would not be good because then Dogmeat would still be alive. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. Red, <laughs> red. <laughs> I'll lose a life. You're One, crazy, two. Steven. No, <laughs> Three <clears throat> for the muddle, Motherload Excavator. It's a five-five legendary artifact creature robot. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose target opponent. I get an amount of energy equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. And then when it attacks, I can pay four energy. When I do, destroy target non-basic land defending play controls and creatures that play controls without flying can't block this turn. Well, don't forget on cast. I'm sorry, yeah. Preston, what was the name of that card? Uh, the Motherload Excavator. Oh, that's sweet. Here's my energy. I get one when I cast it. And who has the most non-basics? Tommy has two. I also have two. Um, I have two. Well, you all suck. So you actually have the most <laughs> so non-basics. You actually. But I have to choose an opponent. Yeah, well, that wasn't your question, though. I haven't seen an energy reserve in 500 years. <laughs> <laughs> I was there 3,000 years ago. I was there, Gandalf. Wait, that's the wrong universe is beyond set. Hold on. <laughs> Can't really do much at the moment, so pass. <clears throat> Untap. Draw. Pre combat main phase. I mill four. Fervent charge. Oh. Diamond City. Planes. Overseer of Vault 76. So that was so you got two, two non-lands. So that's two life and two rad. What's your saga 
It's going to the, its third ability. It's going to its third, which is uh, another put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature. You said it, 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 it was two control. non-land? Yeah, two non-land. Okay. So let's do... Get my... Let's do one on this man, and one on the flank, I suppose. Okay, so I put a plus one, plus one on yes man, and Caesar. All right, main phase, and then your saga is gonna go bye bye. It's after three, so with that, yeah, yeah. So when it, it hits it gets, three, it or? gets its three. Yeah. Okay, when it gets three, okay. I don't. I never use sagas, so. Uh, All right, so it's just like in basketball. Make it, take it after three. What? Yeah. You never played pickup basketball before. Do I look like I'm an athletic kid? That doesn't that doesn't answer my question. Did you see the girl um for um oh gosh, I can't remember. I can't remember the school. She dropped forty. She's about your size. Dropped forty in a tournament game. Well good for her. I can't do that. But so. but, 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 but but that's you know, don't discount yourself because of that. You just need to put on a wig. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Anyway, we're gonna play planes. Um but I'm just saying, it's, you, you know, it can be done. Uh-huh. You know what else can be done? A board wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> These decks do not have many board wipes between them. Let's yeah. play something that destroys all creatures. That kind of sounds like a board wipe. <laughs> yeah, but I specifically want it to say destroy. Because dog meets because dog meets indestructible. Uh -huh. That's that could be why. Mm -hmm. All right, don't could, cast for a well. Uh, I mean, I'd rather the, just the, like path the, to exile. Like legit <laughs> though, the Pip Boy farewell art, like that. It's really it, good. It's it might really be. Good. I want to bring. I want to bring that up for the viewers because it's so funny. It's the good. Pip Boy That's farewell. So I, it might be my favorite. Like universes beyond. It's so good. Art. It's really good. From any so from funny. any universe beyond that, it might be my favorite art. That's just so good. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Um, <sighs> one. Man, see, this is why this is why I hate that my only red mana source is the Shadow Blood Ridge. Um, yeah, for one, we're gonna tap the Shadow Blood Ridge and the Plains uh, for Craig Boone, Novak Guard. Uh, three three with reach and life link. Um, whenever I attack with two or more creatures, put two quest counters on Craig Boone. Um, when I do, he deals damage equal to the number of quest counters on it to up to one target creature, unless that creature's controller has him deal that much damage to them. So you so so you get to choose um, whether it deals it to your creature or your or your face or your face. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. That's neat. So I can target the creature, and if you don't want to lose that creature, then you can just take it to the face. Craig, man. Um, so let's see. I've still got scythe references. We're gonna make. I've still got a black <laughs> from that floating. Um, yeah, I kind of really dig this card, actually. Yeah, he's cool. Um, and then for using that black and another white, we're also gonna play intangible virtue. Creature tokens I control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. Vigilance. Man, um, you kind of want Yes Man to die at this point. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I just wait for the board wipe. Yeah. <laughs> Path to exile. <laughs> I mean, that would still do. That would still activate it. Oh yeah. Because uh, the twenty leaves the battlefield. Oh, he leaves the battlefield. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll make you a deal. Yeah. <laughs> um. If it begins with let dog meat hit me, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is going to be no. I'll that tell does you that sound much. like a deal that Jason okay. would try to make. Um, all right, I'll make you a deal. You, 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 you give me like two turns. <laughs> okay. Two. And you, two. and you, and you, and you, and you give me, uh, your thing, and I'll just attack with it. The yes man. Yeah. You give me two turns and, and for two turns. Two turns. That's. I'm I'm about to give you two cards and five creatures. Just sus. 
Tommy, I'd rather you just swing it at me and I'll block him like fuck. I was going to say, yeah, I could I could just swing him at someone and they'd block him. Hey, I was just trying to get some type of, you know, I was trying to, like, prevent myself from the wrath of these five creatures that are coming out. You have a dog. Five one ones. <laughs> you have a dog that has the strength of a god. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, he's only in first place. He needs this. <laughs> he needs this. So what you're saying is he, he's actually god meat? He's not dog meat anymore. He's god meat. Everyone. Anyway. Um, All right, he doesn't get that. No, term. you just no. add a legendary creature dog god there. Dog god. <laughs> they should do that at some point. That would be, be co- that would be funny. Well, All right, we got we're the bull god now. Combat. Um, dog god Craig is Boone the same can't swing. forwards and, and, and backwards. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but is I it, will is it heads swing. Or, out of or is it a cat? Let's well, see, Mothman like is a 5-5, five five and a, so he's got two 5-5s. Five five. Um, he's got a 2-2. Two two. Just a 2-2. Two two. Just a 2-2. Two two. Okay, I will swing Caesar at uh, Jason, and Yes Man at... Oh, wait. You can just do Caesar's thing when you attack. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you what does he mean? You oh yeah, I could I could sacrifice Yes Man to Caesar if I wanted to. Um I, know, I think that would probably be worth it, but Or I could just send him at okay. at Steven and either have Steven take three damage or or force him to block it. I guess. I won't it won't trade with any of his creatures. Um I just think one of his abilities would probably be better than because yes. my other two options are draw a card and lose a life, or he so deals damage do, to the number of creature tokens. To t- Since I don't have any tokens, honestly, you know what? Yeah, actually, rescind that. I'm not sending that at Steven. Um, rescind it. Rescind. I will, I will swing Caesar at Jason on Caesar's attack. Um, I'm going to sacrifice uh, Yes Man. Oh. So he will create four... So on that, you I will create four. Um, let's see. Uh, create four tapped one one white soldiers. So and then you also get to choose one of Caesar's modes. Yep. Two of Caesar's modes actually. You get two. Uh, so four of those guys. Oh, yeah. uh, that's why I was saying it was definitely worth doing. Yeah, I, yeah, you were you were right. Uh, four of those guys, and then. Two of, of Caesar's modes. Um, I'm going to create two of these soldiers um, that are tapped at attacking um, and draw a card and lose one life. So I'll draw the card, lose one life. And who are you sending these the two one one, Or the two two twos? They're one ones. They're one ones. Plus one, plus one. Oh, I forgot you have that creature anthem out. Creature tokens oh, yeah. you control. With yes. the tokens of control, yeah. Enter. Oh. oh, vigilance. But they enter tapped. Yeah. But they enter tapped. <laughs> so count me there. So they don't tap to attack. But my other plus one plus one for these guys. Um. <clears throat> so these are tapped, but they're not attacking. These are tapped and attacking, and I have two of them. Um. Do you have more tokens? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I will send them at... Do you not have two of those tokens? I do, I guess, if you're... Well, I feel like that's I a actually? lot easier to... Be surprised if they... Yeah, there's another one. I would imagine they'd give you two just because his ability specifically I was gonna say, it's makes the, two. It's the ability of the commander. I'd hope they'd give me at least at least a couple of them. I would hope they'd give you at least however many the commander's supposed to make. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, true. <clears throat> I would not do the plus one plus one. I just yeah, because they're yeah, not they're not um, counters. Yeah. Just it's, it's just, just an oh, point. you're right. They're not counters. My fault. Um. Okay. So one of them's going at Jason, and the other one's going at. They're both worth sending at Jason because me and Steve have big enough blockers to just true. Yeah, both the both the tokens are going at Jason. All right. 
So oh, two two I'm gonna block the two two with my two two. You're gonna block one of them. Okay. And then I will take. What's your commander? Four five. Five. Six, seven. So I seven. Take seven. So five seven five oh. of which is commander damage. Cool. <clears throat> um. Oh wait, there's also Craig's. Whenever I attack, because I attacked. No, I only attacked with one creature. Yeah, because yeah. when Cause these entered, entered they're, attacking, they're already they, attacking. Yeah, they're not they declaring did not declare attacks. attacks. So yeah. Yep. So is that it? Turn. Is that my turn? Is that it? That is, is that my turn? it. All right, I'm done. People are now seeing how these games really go. Yeah, now you see why <laughs> a three and a, a three hour game can turn into forty five minute episode. Yeah. They're like, yeah. let's never do a live stream ever again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, untap, upkeep, draw, and then one. Oh yeah. Two. That's what I'm talking. Three, yeah. four, five. It's three non-lands. I got a soul ring, an arcane signet, and a vault 101 birthday party. Cool. So let's do uh, one here, one here, and one here. All right. Um, I guess I might as well try it, right? I'm going to play this exotic orchard as my land for the turn. I'm going to tap all four of my junk tokens and sacrifice them. Oh. So I'll exile the top four cards of my library, and until the end of this turn, I can play them? You could just do them one at a time, but... Oh! <laughs> that's... That's pretty nice. Um... Ooh. I'm gonna you got tap some gas there. for three, and I'm gonna play strong back, and I'm going to equip... I'm gonna put that on dog meat. Yeah, I'm so what thought all So, do? uh, strong back is equip... Uh, it's, uh, equip abilities... Uh, you activate that target enchanted creature costs three less to activate. Or a spell as you cast, that target enchanted creature costs three less to cast. And then enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two for each aura and equipment attached to it. Oh. So now, That's a lot. I'm <laughs> going to mm -hmm. pay one away with the He's canopy gonna gain vista. So much life. And I'm going to put idolize on it because it costs one, it costs three less technically. Okay. <laughs> Um, so equip creature has whenever this creature attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of non-land permanents you control. Oh so God! Die. <laughs> yeah, I so think I, I think dead. I think I'm just gonna kill Steven. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't. It doesn't I think I'm just gonna it? kill Steven. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Have... I'm gonna tap for three, and I'm gonna activate the agility bobblehead. Oh. And I have one bobblehead, so I can target one creature. I'm gonna target dog meat. It Up to what? X target creatures you control each gain haste until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn it's except by creatures with haste. Where X is the number of bobbleheads you control. Yeah, hold on. Before hold on. Before you tap that, I'm gonna atomize it. Destroy target non land permanent. You can't you can't. The, you the, can't. I tap the it ability's and put the ability already on the, on the stack. stack. So you can destroy it, but the ability's still gonna happen. Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll blow up your life link thing then. <clears throat> That's fine. At least they're not gaining that much life. But Get him. You're, you're still gonna die. <laughs> Whatever. Kill I would have blown up uh, what is it? Kill Wait, you. what was atomize do? Destroy target artifact or destroy target non target permanent. Non permanent and proliferate. So everyone get another red. I would have destroyed. I don't have that. any reds. Okay, yeah, you don't get a red. You want another energy counter? You get another energy counter. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. Wait, actually, right. which of your things is going to make dog meat the biggest? The probably Why? the probably the strong bag. Almost perfect. Uh, oh, well, love that and let him keep the life link. No, no, he already made his choice. He made the wrong call and then he changed it. All right. He should have done it better. All right, I'm going to swing dog meat at you, Steven. Uh, on attacks, it's going to get plus X, plus X, where an X is the number of non-land permanents I control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so it gets well, plus seven, plus seven. In and... response to that trigger, I'm going to exile it. Oh, why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? I'm not even doing anything to you. <laughs> I'm not doing a thing to you. As soon as he's dead, we don't have much to do against is you. That, was that Pat that? Whatever. Whatever. Then I would have... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Or no, this is swords. swords. Oh, Whatever. Swords. I would, then I would, I would have at least waited until Steven so was how much dead life so am I we gaining? don't have to deal with him. I'm gaining, so on attacks, uh, so it's base power toughness 9, 10, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for this. I still would have, I would have let him die and then done that. Yeah, but... you freaking moron. <laughs> no, because it's going to make Jason win again. <laughs> Do you see how much he's got what, what right here? Again? Yeah. Jason does have a, a habit of just winning. Wasn't even doing anything to you. Yet. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, 15 plus 7 is 22. So I'll gain 22. Oh my gosh. Oh my Come on, Lanta. Jason is such a poor loser sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I. Also, I, if any of those are equipments, remember you do get to keep those. 
Yeah, yeah equipment yeah. stay on the battlefield. Equi- yeah, you could. Yeah, if any of those are equipment, none of them were equipment. Oh, okay, he bad. destroyed the only equipment I had. Oh, I thought. Oh, right. okay, I, good. I didn't know those were all auras. Yeah, they were all auras. I all mean, right. I see where he's coming from. So I would have waited until the turn now, to do that. And but. these just remain exiled. And go ahead, Stephen. <laughs> okay. I still... now 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 I'm now I'm killing Preston. <laughs> now Preston's gonna die. I I hope. On tip up keep, draw, and then. Uh, four cards are gonna get milled. We're gonna have Raoul, uh, Troubleshooter, uh, Fraying, Sanity, <laughs> Glowing One. Um, Zay in the chat, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, says, Let Steven win one. I feel like he never wins. <laughs> I, got a couple, I got a couple wins. That's because you don't Steven, see the Steven games we a... don't record. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess there's there's a game that we've uh Heaven recorded open. that hasn't come out yet that he, so, he wins, but all it, four, so all wait, did you what? And then why'd you say that? Why would you just spoil that? But we've we've we have like three games that we've recorded that haven't come out yet. Do we? Oh, you didn't fair. say the specific. Okay, fair, yeah, I didn't say which one. That's fair. So these all go bye bye. At least four life. I'll get uh, <laughs> four. Yep. So we got one for each of them. One for each. Boom. That's also because you don't see the vi- you don't see Boom. the games we don't record. He he wins a good amount of the games we don't record. Yeah, I don't feel. I mean, and I and I also don't feel that bad when I lose. With a pre-con, which we filmed a lot of episodes with pre-cons this season, which has been pretty pretty cool. Anyways, um, don't think I have anything else really. So I guess let's just go ahead and pay two to play Talisman of Resilience. You look at my. Oh, it's your friend Xavier, Stephen. He says, I know, he wins against me all the time. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi, Xavier. What's up, bud? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to need to get that. <clears throat> I'm going to tap the Master Transcendent to return Glowing One uh, from my graveyard to the battlefield. It's a 3-3 three, three, uh, with Death Touch. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, they get four rad counters. Whenever a player mills a non-land card, I gain one life. And then let's do... Um, the card we were happy about not being an 8-6 is now an 8-8. Eight, eight. Mm-hmm. I'm on your side let's on this do... one, honestly. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. I'm on Jason's side on this one. Normally, I'm okay yeah, with this, taking out we a threat. We didn't, but... we, didn't, we didn't record this, but we we did a draft of uh, Commander Masters, and this makes me feel the same way where you just really poorly assessed <laughs> the, the threats. Didn't you, was, still, did wh- you still win that game? No, no I, won, I, won, I, won. I died. Oh, I lost first. I don't remember that game very well. I just remember not winning. <laughs> uh, you almost won. It came down to you and me. That, uh, okay, yeah, now I remember that. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pay uh, one, two, uh, three, four. I'm sorry, I typed one too many. Uh, tap the strength bobblehead to put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Uh, yeah, because I only have one. Yeah, so I'll just put it on the wise Mothman. And then. Oh, you really must have nothing to do. I got one card in my hand. <laughs> so I can draw a lot of cards with my with all my clues. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have rather done that. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, you still got some mana. So I can, can I'm going to pay one, two, three. I'm going to switch this bad boy over to yep. the wise Mothman. Mm. Oh, wait. Um, I forgot. What is it? I got four of these bad boys, so I'm at seven. All right, because you have because uh, you hit me with that. What what's the equipment called, Steve? It is called uh, Nuka Nuke Launcher. Nuka dash yeah. Nuke. So Jason has a couple more rad counters. Yeah, I got seven because I cast two spells. I'm s- totally cool with that. And then and that's the one you're moving over. That's the one I'm moving over to the Wise Mothman. Yes. And then let's go ahead and... Trying to figure out a way to get him... 
Powered I up enough to kill me? I don't have a... Uh, I don't think I can do enough. You, if you Point swing as point of point right point now, point. yes. Okay, you would yes. give me nineteen. I would be, I would, I would be a nineteen commander damage. Okay, yeah, I, would be I take. I it. think, I think I can do it. So let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attack. Uh, you with Ancient Frank Morgan. I'm going to attack. You with the Wise Moth Man, yep. and I'm going to attack you. I saved you last turn. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> So annoying. Um, I'm on Jason's side on this one, <laughs> straight up. Like that was I. You uh, you lost the game for both of you. He is going yeah, to win now. Yeah, he's he's absolutely going to win now. <laughs> uh, so when he attacks, uh, I proliferate twice. That so would put me at twenty. That will that put you at tw- twenty. I mean, hey, no, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, because it's at twelve right now. It's twelve, yep. And so we're each fourteen yeah. plus so, yeah. so oh it's so Mothman's big enough to kill you with commander Mothman's damage. Mothman's big enough yep. to kill him with commander damage. And we all get two more red counters. See, and you here's here's another reds. reason why you shouldn't have done that. You, you, because uh, because oh, if you okay. wait to do that until after I kill Steven, I'm in the exact same position I'm in right now. Yeah. You just don't have to worry about Steven anymore. True. That's exactly why I'm on your side. <laughs> it's because I that's I don't Ridiculous! You saved him for absolutely no reason. Because what, what what did you gain out of that, out of saving Steven? He's Versus out of the game, <laughs> and you're gonna be right behind me. Cool. <laughs> this deck was never going to win this game. <laughs> this deck sucks. Yeah, but I would like to not get curb stomped by the Mothman either. <laughs> you were just gonna get curb stomped by dog meat. No, because you had the exile answer in hand. You had the answer to dog meat in your hand. For what it's worth, Preston, I was rooting for Dr. Madison. <laughs> I like energy. <laughs> I like energy, too. I think that, honestly, I mean, your performance is your fault because you kept a one-land hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, I pulled a Jason, and it didn't work. <laughs> no, I would never keep no, a one-land hand. No, you forgot the key element ever. of the, of the, of the Jason move. You have to have You block. don't have 24 lands in the deck. You That's right. You have what? All right. You I also declare, don't have the I block. declare no blocks. Sweet. And then... You still got a uh, he's this kind of ten right ten now. a giant. He is yeah. So it's a ten ten with trample. God with trample. Yeah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, block with your life. I Laker. guess I'll block with with Craig with Craig, and still take <laughs> seven, but gain three of it back. <laughs> I block I can't, with Craig. <laughs> can't I hate. Craig dies. <laughs> I kind of hate that there's a magic card just uh, named Craig. And then I take. <laughs> I take 14. Yeah. And die. Mothman gives I'm kind dead. of an attack, right, too, perhaps? Oh, yeah, and then when it attacks, y'all get one uh, one more rat. Yeah, so. Uh, one. All yeah, right, Jason, on. I'm going to annex your board with the Scryfall. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning it up. Okay. I'm not sitting at the table anymore. That makes me. Uh, <laughs> All right, I pass the turn, Preston. If you can pull something out of your boat right now, that would be pretty lit. I'm not oh, going to lie. Oh, the land. I'm playing a Mardu combat deck. I have no hope. <laughs> there's, a, I, there's no there's no Trixie Hobbits' magic in here that can make me win this game. No, isn't there a Blasphemous <laughs> Act or something? You in go to draw Probably, next, but I don't know where it is. But then you go to draw your next card and it's the One Ring. <laughs> Trixie <laughs> Hobbits. <laughs> what? What? But oh, it's, that it's card the one is so broken. We, we heard it here first. Fallout Five set in Middle Earth. <laughs> awesome. That could be dope. <laughs> that would be kind of sick, actually. All right, I'm gonna take pay three and a blue to cast one with the machine. Draw cards equal to the highest mana value on artifacts you control. So that's with five. Mana? Okay. So one. Four mana draw five seems two, decent. Three, four. Rough. I'm just gonna do this now because it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. I'm gonna pay two to sack a clue and draw a card. Whenever I sack a clue, I'll put one on counter card creature I control. I'm gonna put it on the only one. Oh, did you do the radiation thing at your... Oh. Did you already do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, I forgot to remind you. Uh, didn't he already draw the cards? Yeah. That's kind of sus. It's... Uh... I'll... Whatever. I got an arcane signet. It's okay. Nothing I drew was that good. 
Okay. When you mill the non land card, I gain one life. Ow. Uh, I'll play a land this turn. Here's a behind the scenes tidbit Steven sniffles four <laughs> times louder than he speaks. So that makes editing audio very annoying yes, here, for our game. Bring the microphone closer to me so they no. can hear it. No. no. <laughs> I'm going to pay four. Let me get that out of the way. Pay one. I'm gonna basic land cycle Ash Barons. Busted. Deck that a little bit. That's still. I'm. I'm, mm. I'm not as upset as Jason, but I'm still like <laughs> baffled why you did that. That was a bad call. It was a very bad call. I know I'm not usually one to call out misplays because I have probably more than anyone, but my God. <laughs> Is land. Is land. It is land. All right. Um. Also, Jason, for what it's worth, I do think that dog meat is... Probably the second best of these pre-cons. I agree. Mm -hmm. I would agree. By far. I wouldn't say by far. I don't know. The Mothman deck's pretty good. I think Caesar has some potential. Mothman's definitely the best one. Um, And and Dogmeat's definitely the second best. how good the energy deck is, Preston, because you kept a one-land hand. (laughs) Because it took you a (laughs) while to get going. I've watched a lot of videos. This deck is the worst one. (laughs) I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's not as bad. I, it might be the worst out of the four objectively, but I think that it has potential to be a lot better. It you, did. you don't keep one land hand. Yeah, it took a while to get going because of that. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. I've never misplayed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you accuse me of something like that? <laughs> I'm going to tap Dark Dimension Lee, spend three of my counters to draw a card. Well, Dude, that's still I, not a blue I hope he can play Liberty Prime. He's just Prime fishing at this, at this point. <laughs> He's got it. this hand's pretty good. I want uh, so here's the picture in my head of what happened when that when 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 that happened. Preston and I were thrown into a lake with cinder blocks tied to our feet. Jason was jump was literally in the process of jumping in with scissors to save us, and then Preston shot Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Just, what just kind of finality is this? I'll help you out. A little tiny barrel pops out of the water. Yeah. Was that a snorkel? <laughs> As we're neck deep and sinking further, Wait. Preston pulls out a Glock and just shoots Jason. Steven's just watching you guys drown and I'm there to save you. And Steven's like, no, I can't do anything. And Preston's like, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's good. I guess, but... I'm gonna cast Plasma Caster. The crypt creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever it attacks, I get two energy. I can pay two. Choose target creature that's blocking a crypt creature. Flip a coin. If I win the flip, uh, exile the chosen creature. Otherwise, Plasma Caster deals one damage to it. It's Mothman, right? Nah, it could be Caesar, dude. Yeah. Caesar's looking real scary right about now. With its plus one, plus one counter, if baby. You do it to a creature that's blocking it. Oh, I'm is it? going okay. to multi-click, multi-kick Everflowing Chalice one time. So I can tap it for one colorless. I hate the Fallout art for that. That's terrible. Yeah, not great. <laughs> It's just a canteen. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's probably one of my bigger. It's just a blast. Overall, I, lo- I like Universes <laughs> Beyond as an idea, and some of the new cards are really cool. The art. Some of the arts. Some the, of the, the arts, arts are very. Miss. The arts are very hit or miss for me. Yeah, some of like, them I dig. Like mostly the Fallout and the Doctor Who ones had very hit or miss the, art for me. Yeah, the some the, of them are really good. Other ones I'm like, that's not. Well, know. it's for me. It was like all of the the creatures in Doctor Who were terrible, but then all of the other things like were really pretty. Like the lands were really pretty. Oh, the, the blasphemous act was really nice. Really the chaos good. warp was really nice. The artif- some of the artifacts were pretty good too. 
Like I knew the soul ring. The from characters the were awful set. though. There's just some guy in his garage eating a sandwich. <laughs> it's just it's just a lot of It's just some guy. Which I mean kind <laughs> of what the fallout is for a lot of them is just some pe- some guy. Some guy at least there's, yeah. there's more going on at least. I'm gonna pay two to put the plasma caster onto the mother load. So now it's a six six. Alright, I'm gonna swing the mother load at Steven. Fair. So it's it's a six six. When it attacks, I get two energy counters, and then if you block it, I can spend two energy counters to maybe exile the creature that's blocking. If he wins well, the coin flip. If I lose, it deals one damage to the creature. Okay. So either I it deals one damage to the creature, or exiles it, or it exiles it, or you just take six, <laughs> or it takes, or six. you just take six damage. Are you uh, gonna pay for energy to blow up one of his lands? I don't have enough. That'd be kind of rude, but... Yeah, you oh, yeah, only have three energy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just take six. Okay. Get him, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. I sure will. Oh, I think one, two, three, four, five, Steven, how six, big is your seven, blue eight, creature? Nine. I'm at nine. I'm um, gonna discard an island. It's a out. nine, okay. ten. Okay. I mean, I definitely could have blocked. Draw. And then on my pre-combat, I milled six. God. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> McCready, Lamplight Mayor, Path of Ancestry, Luck Bobblehead, Pitiless Plunderer, Isolated Chapel. How many is that? Well, none of those are board wipes. That's five, six, Black Market. So how many of those were so non lands? Five of those were non lands? Jesus. Four. Four non lands. Four okay. were non lands. So I lose four life and four grand count. And then two. let's do let's do one here. Let's do one there. Wait, so how big is Mothman now? Um, I don't want to think about Dick. it. Uh, it's a fifteen, fifteen right now. There, no, I'm sorry, fifteen, uh, twelve. Yeah, we don't here. want to be ridiculous. And I need some, I need some shenanigans here. Here, okay, that's four. All right, find a board wipe. Here's hoping. I already drew for my turn. Oh, and uh, oh, how God. many? And so there's four non land cards were milled, so I'll gain four life with the glowing one. Right. These are artifacts. I actually have five energy because I cast two artifacts my turn. Cool. Um, for two, I'm gonna play Arcane Signet. Busted. Um, <laughs> and with that Arcane Signet, I win the game. Um, oh, okay. Well, thanks, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. <laughs> I wish. It's in the deck, but it's it, I, unfortunately no. You haven't milled it, have you? Mm-mm, no. You can at least uh, dig a little bit deeper by drawing with uh, Caesar when he attacks. If if you if you have nothing eventful to do. Yeah. Um, I do have Piper, who is currently a ten eleven. And, oh, I'm aware. And glowing one, which is currently a five five with death touch. Oh, I'm aware. Now you don't have to swing with Caesar to get the ability, right? It's just when you attack. Yeah, it's just whenever I attack. You also don't have to swing at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying you don't have to. You can if you want. I'm doing a visual <laughs> gag and they can't see my face. I don't know why I'm doing anyway. Um, <laughs> I saw it. I appreciate the joke. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. For one, two. <clears throat> this is why I hate this cycle of land. For one, two. Yeah, see, I don't like it. I think it's maybe okay in, in a two. Maybe okay in a two color. But. I, yeah, I, I have that land in my Prosper deck, and it's like right on the cusp of being cut. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things like if like one, one more, if one one more, more good, good dual one land. comes out, <laughs> yeah. it's gone. <laughs> one more good dual land, and it's out of there. And it's gone. Yep, I know that feeling. Um, I want to tap this in the most efficient way. If you don't have anything super good to do first, I'd attack first and try to draw a card. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I have draw the Blasphemous Act. Actually, is Mothman big enough to survive Blasphemous Act? Yes. Uh, no, he's no, only 12 no, toughness, No, it's right? at 12 toughness right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't grow it. 
I mean, no, <laughs> I'm so close to right. bring this. Um, yeah, I'll swing. I'll swing the four human soldiers at Steven on attack. I will sacrifice this soldier. They um, have vigilance. They oh, they do have vigilance. All oh, right, because of the enchantment. Because of yeah. the enchantment. And the enchantment also gives them plus one, plus one. Yes. What's the name of it? Intangible Virtue. It's pretty good. It's a decent one. If that is not in Jason's the least take, it needs to go in. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is too, but... Um, so, they're all two twos. Okay. Um, on that, but before damage, I sacrifice the creature. And you weren't attacking with Caesar. Um, and I'm not attacking with Caesar. I will go ahead and create... Create the two, draw one? No, I'll just deal four damage to... I'll draw Preston. one and then deal four damage to, to Steven. Do it, do it to Preston. Why to Preston? <laughs> Preston lost a game for you. Okay, I'm on your side. I'm not that on your side. <laughs> four damage. Four What's damage to your face, and then I draw a card and lose a life. Okay. All right, so... Is it a board wipe? No. Did I play a land this turn? I don't, I don't think so. think you did. No, I did the Arcane Signet. Um, cool. Uh, Post-combat main phase, play a mountain as my land for turn. That was the card I drew, by the way. Uh, well, hold on. I, I haven't declared a blockers yet. Oh. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet. Well, then. Uh, so it's uh, four two twos. Yes. So I'll just block two of them. With so two of them will die. Two of them will die. And then, and uh, so four. I still take four. Yep. I'm doing what I can. And then, okay, post-combat, play a mountain. Um. It's a no board wipe. No! Morgan, <laughs> that's worth asking. Let's see if I do this. So it's a bit... So how many people watching right now? Just curious. I think there's only like four people watching right now, but there's there's been like a dozen or so who have been coming in and out. There are three people right now, and I am one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shout out to Preston. Padding those numbers, baby. Heck yeah. If my phone wasn't the life counter right now, I'd also have it tuned in. <laughs> um, Preston is the best player right now in this game. The best viewer Oh, in this really? Game. You want to say that? Yeah. Okay. I, I want you to realize if I hadn't done that, Jason would be the same position. No, I wouldn't be. No, I wouldn't We would be. not have anything to do against his 40,000 life. That is completely false because if you just let me kill Steven, then on your turn, you kill dog me. Or even on and then his nobody next has main to worry main about it. But I'm saying uh, but, you would uh, have but, so but, much uh, life, but, we would uh, have nothing to do against but, uh, but, you. This is another but, thing uh, that but, gets cut out of the episode. Yeah. Is, <laughs> is this. This is a little more than normal, but also there's not usually that controversial of a play that happens. Um, God. And it also doesn't matter how much life I have. I definitely would. The same way that Steven killed me. I definitely, I definitely would have just let Steven die. Yeah, I would have let, I would have let Steven die because that, I, I, yeah, I. My commander's uh, a two three that doesn't want to attack. Because the point, the point is, is I would have let Steven die because the point is we still would have been in the same same position of having one of them be a problem for us to deal with. Anything else, Tommy, or do you pass? I. He's got a lot of mana. He's got a lot of cards. I've got a lot of cards, but I don't. Nothing helps me that much, and I don't. I think I should keep that mana up in case I need it. Question mark. I mean, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, I will do. I will do this um, for uh, for two black. I'll just I'll play Butch Deloria Tunnel Snake um, two two with Menace uh, Tunnel Snakes rule. Whenever Butch Deloria Tunnel Snake attacks, it gets that's literally the name of the ability. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> nice. I mean, and, and they had to if they're gonna make a Butch card, they had to give him his quote. Um, uh, whenever he attacks, it, uh, he gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each other rogue and or snake I control. And I can pay one in a black and put a menace counter on another target creature. It becomes a rogue in addition to its other types. Um, and then I think I pass. 
Okay. Does Steven win the game now? Uh, I on tap. I don't think he wins the game, but he comes close. I guess he only has 16 life. He might oh, just... I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any dark counter. I've been very impressed with radiation. I actually think it's quite strong. It's cool. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and play an island as my land for turn. Uh, I just want to draw a card right now. I'm going to play two, second clue, draw a card. I already played a land this turn. I'll pay two, sack a clue. Oh, and then I forgot. I put a one counter target creature I control whenever I sack a clue. So let's do uh, the Wise Moth, man. And then we'll do it again for the second time I do it. And then draw a card for that. And then. What? what? <laughs> okay, then, Lucy. You, you do that, I guess. Let's do this. So let's do one, two, three. I'm going to play Jason Bright, Glowing Prophet. It's hey, look, Jason's in the game. Hey, he's, he's not dead after she's all. Back. Well, he is still well, he is dead. He is a zombie. He is a zombie <laughs> mutant advisor. It's a two, three. <laughs> Technically, ghouls aren't actually zombies because they don't, they're don't. they not dead. Yeah, they're not undead. Uh, they're just highly irradiated humans. It's a two, three. Whenever a zombie or mutant you control dies, if its power was different from its base power, draw a card. And it has come fly with me. You can pay two, sacrifice a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control against flying until end of turn. It is cool that we got a Jason and a Preston in this set. True. Is there a... Is there a... Is Preston there a, Garvey is in the dog meat deck, yeah. Is there a, uh, a, a Tommy, a Steven, or a Morgan card yet? I'm sure there's you a Steven. You need to just get a Geek and Seek pod. I'm sure there's a Steven I mean, we somewhere. already have Steve, but like it's not officially Steve. Oh, like, like Secure name. Tribe. Oh, I'm yeah, sure a right. Universes Beyond has had a character named Steven. There's no way we they have haven't. A, we have Steve, obviously. We, just, we don't have a stay. We don't have a oh, stay. Good point, good point, good point. Um, let's do... Tommy would be a good Nuka kind of character name. Yeah, that's a good point. Tommy Twinkle Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Same. You can't see it? No. No, I, yeah. It'd be I mean... blue, black, some kind of steel effect. Now, anything that you're going to make Tommy has to be Mardu. It, yeah, it's it, gotta be. it has gonna, to at least have red. He's I'm gonna pay attacking to his thing. another clue, draw a card, put one counter on the wise moth man. Cool. Now, now, now why? No, he's at thirteen. He can. He still dies to Blasphemous act. Well, then he just has to crack another clue. And then but yeah, literally, like, he he cracks another clue and Mothman survives. So no, he's at he's at fifteen right now. Toughness. He's twelve. Yeah, fifteen toughness. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Twelve counters or thirteen cool. counters. Cool. Well, that's fun. <clears throat> Thanks, Preston. We were losing anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, let's just go ahead and do another two, sack another clue, draw a card, put a wall encounter, and the wise mothman again. Someone's about to get annihilated. So, how much moon is it? And it's not going to be Steven. It's ni that's 19 damage. So, so mothman kills Tommy, your other creatures kill me? Yeah, no, mothman, much... mothman can't kill me. What are you talking about? I'm not, I have no commander damage from you. You are, you're, you're at 19, 19 life, life, buddy. Oh, I'm at 19 <laughs> life. I thought I had more than that. <laughs> All right, I attack. No, it doesn't kill me. Mothman, uh, for what? Oh, 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 are you gonna let me declare my attack, please? Um, sure. That was real soft. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attack you with Piper. Yeah, well, uh, well, yeah, we'll attack you with Master Chain Sentinel. Why not? And then Agent Frank, uh, the glowing one. Actually, I'll keep the golden one back. It's not going to win the game, but it's going to it's going to do uh, something. It's something I can so do. So whenever Agent Frank attacks, um, I proliferate twice. So go ahead and add two more red counters to you. You don't. I'm not going to give you any more energy this time. One, two. That's fair. Three, four. What uh, about my chalice? <laughs> eight. Okay. 
I, I declared my attack first. Okay. For three and a white uh, entrapment maneuver. Targeting Steven. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature. I create X11 white soldier creature tokens where X is that creature's toughness. Okay. So, so you sacrifice an attacking creature. Okay. Uh, well... The tokens you definitely. make, they don't get flying, do they? Mm-mm. <laughs> As long as he doesn't sacrifice. Yeah, so I mean, as long as as long as he doesn't sacrifice. I guess sacrifice. I'll start with Wolf. Oh, Mothman does have flying. Well, yeah. never mind. But I mean, <laughs> whatever. You, I don't you, care. You well, you might have you might have kept Preston alive, depending on what. Yeah, I mean, the theme of this game is saving players who. I still have a lot of clues. Piper, you did your job. You did a real good, Piper. So I'm sacrificed, Piper. I mean, what's its toughness? Okay, what was her toughness? Uh. Ooh. <clears throat> you oh my <fool>. god <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't thing. matter because Tommy's gonna die I'm still gonna die because I am i can't block the Mothman but you don't have any like okay he'll create all of these creatures and then they'll he'll no. they'll all instantly die when Tommy dies okay <clears throat> and then so you still have uh, uh 10 12 and then uh a 13 13 with trample I'm so, a blocker, so I'm still dead. So you're still <laughs> okay, dead. well. Cool. So Steven didn't wins. do anything. That one. Okay. GG. <clears throat> no. Thanks for giving me a little buddy. Yay! Good yeah. job, Steven. Good game. Jason's a good, good sport. Game. Good game. I came back for it. I came back for it. I'll, I'll be a good sport. I still feel bad about that. Hey, it's not losing. I don't mind if I lose. It's losing like that. It's mm-hmm. the bad plays. It's, it's the, the sus plays. really bad plays. It's that, being the It was soul... not a bad play. Yes, it was it... 100% a bad play. Like... Like, objectively, it was a bad play. And you're going to have think, to acknowledge it at some I point. I think we could have dealt with Jason better than we could have dealt with Steven. I was Because dealt with. the nature of a Voltron deck, he generally has one, maybe two big it's threats. It's not a Voltron deck. It yeah. is. He it was playing is. it like it a, Voltron a, deck. a Voltron deck. It doesn't That's matter what it if what it is or what isn't. He was playing it like a Voltron deck. And All right. had Dogmeat as a Voltron commander. Well, you guys so, have uh, seen quite a bit of the behind the scenes on uh, <laughs> a lot of other. the... Uh, I promise you, we really do. Normally we are not this heated, but that was a very controversial play, and normally that does not. Oh happen. yeah, if we were playing with random people, we wouldn't be talking like this. Also, yeah, this, <laughs> no, this, this is, is we're friends with this each is, other. This is love. <laughs> this honestly, is what real love looks like, guys. <laughs> I, I would push these guys in front of a train if they really deserved it, <laughs> but because only because I love them, I do it out of love. I, I believe you could all survive it. Yeah, so you guys have, but you haven't got to see a lot of the behind the scenes on, like, you know. How a two-hour game turns into a half-hour video and, and stuff like that. But uh, this was kind of fun. We got to show off these decks. Uh, we were a little disappointed we didn't get to do a real episode of Upkeep with these decks. But I'm glad we still got to uh, at least do this, hang out with some of you guys in the chat. That was pretty fun. Uh, we'll maybe do it again sometime and hopefully have a better setup. Uh, one that's a little less sus and looks a little nicer. And uh, <laughs> we'll we'll figure that out. Uh, maybe we'll have something special planned. Uh, but we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.